Okay, so I'm about to give you guys the best advice you could ever get when it comes to learning about Linux or Unix or uh, computers generally or anything else, any kind of software. Uh, this is a trade secret of my channel. In fact, it's a trade secret of lots of channels, but it never hurts to tell everyone about it because even, in fact, you probably already know this, um, but you have not implemented it in your, in your life in a way that like actually is paying off. And the secret advice is really just read the manual. Um, now, let me put it this way. There are two resources that everyone who is using Linux should be familiar with. The big one is a, this crazy command called man, which is literally like the, the best program ever because what man does is if you open up your terminal and you type in man and then you type in a program, man tells you everything about that program there is to know. It, tell, it gives you all the options, uh, all the different settings you can have. Uh, there will often be uh, you know, sub pages and stuff like that. Uh, everything you need to know is in man. Now, if you want to go a little further, there's another great resource that everyone needs to know about, and that second one is the Arch Wiki. And it doesn't matter if you use Arch Linux or anything else, but the Arch Wiki is one of the best resources you can look at um, because it's the place. Keep in mind, you know, Arch Linux is a Linux distribution where you install everything from the bottom up, um, which is really nice if you want a system that's catered to your interests. Um, but the thing about that is people who use Arch Linux have to sort of know how everything is working. So it's a good resource, even if you're using Ubuntu, if you want to figure out how something works, you go to the Arch Wiki. Now, things are not going to be really different across distributions, mainly because distributions are just like cultural constructs, basically. Um, but uh, those are the best two things that you can possibly learn to use. That is Man and the Arch Wiki. Now, the better one of those is Man, because Man has basically all the options uh, you can look at when you're using a program, um, and you can also access it anywhere. You don't even need internet access. Now, I will say, really, I owe the reason my YouTube channel exists, and the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing, rather than just sort of uh, dragging along using Windows 10 or maybe vanilla Ubuntu or something like that. The reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because there was a period in my life, you may know, I put up a video about it, where I didn't have internet for around two years. And so there were a lot of times where I was at home um, and I, want, I had to do something on the computer and I was in a position where I have two options. One is just use man and see what's going on. Or the second, which is also a valid option, is try and figure things out myself by just basically running random commands or something like that, which isn't the best option, but sometimes it helps to tinker around. Um, so when you're in a position of that, uh, you know, like that, um, you get rid of, like, your first reflex. Now, I mean, keep in mind, I'm not, you know, down-talking to anyone who does this, um, because everyone has done it, like, especially if you started on Windows and Mac, like pretty much everyone, um, you're in a mindset where if something goes wrong on your computer, you look it up on the internet because all of your programs try to be as transparent as they can. They have huge graphical interfaces, they have help menus that don't really help. Um, so if you have problems, you look them up online, you search the error message or something like that, and usually the first couple of results will be uh, whatever you're looking for. Um, but the thing about it is like every Unix program, uh, you know, and really as part of I, or not just Unix programs, but you know all the programs you're going to be using on Linux or something like that, they all come with man pages where everything is basically explained. And you don't just get ad hoc explanations for how to solve one particular error message. You really get an understanding of how programs are actually working. Um, so, you know, it puts you in a totally different position where, you know, instead of responding to error, well, let me, let me put it this way, and, you know, I'm not super big-brained when it comes to computers. I mean, I do what I do on my YouTube channel, I'm not really a programmer, um, but I get emails a lot from people that have very specific problems that I've never had. Uh, they're like, this has gone wrong on my computer, uh, this is messing up, thing A is messing up, thing B is doing something weird, thing C is doing something weird, and if you understand how, com you know, the actual programs are working or how your system is actually sort of doing this or that, you can easily hear the symptoms of the disease and diagnose it. Like, uh, people will email me with a bunch of questions and I'll pretty much respond, oh, I've never had that, but that's, pro it, you know, you probably don't have your Perl libraries in your dir path directory or something like that. Or, 
Um, very particular problems are pretty easily diagnosable when you actually know what's going on. So I, I think the mindset you have to get out of, so again, the, the two things are use man and use the arch wiki because they're helpful, but more important than both of those is really getting out of the mindset where you're responding to problems as they come up. Um, you have to be in a position where, you know, you are, you are sort of taking it one step at a time, um, but you're learning about how, that, how the system actually works at its core. And you're actually, uh, like, you, you, you know, you can have more clever solutions to things. Um, you can predict where problems might arise and stuff like that. Um, and that's the mindset I think everyone should sort of be in. Um, instead of just being like, oh, I had an error, I don't know how to address this, I looked it up on Google, I looked it up on Reddit or something, and it's not, it's not working. Um, so that's the most important, like, the thing about, especially if you're using Linux, or especially if you're using a Linux distribution which is like Arch or Gentoo, where uh, you install everything basically yourself, um, the, there, it's very rewarding to actually know what's going on in your system. Like, um, there is really no problem. I mean, people will often say, oh, you know, you know the memes that are like, oh, uh, Xorg fucked up again and I, I cancel my meetings, mom, whatever it is, uh, where, oh, Arch Linux or Gentoo is buggy. But the thing is, they're not really buggy. What, what's actually going on is, like, the ball is in your side of the court. You have the responsibility, which isn't a difficult responsibility, but you have the ability to uh, put your system together the way you want. And if something goes wrong, if when something does go wrong on my computer, uh, which doesn't happen very often, but when it does, like I pretty much immediately know what it is. It's like, oh, Polybar um, didn't start after I got an update. Well, I should recompile it because I compiled it with a different version of this plugin or something like that. Just things like that that where, you know, um, basically the problems that you run into, like if you know what you're doing and you're, you, you keep your mind open to like learning for how the system works, you never run into a problem that is more trivial than just like, oh, this program shut down or something like that. There's nothing that really goes wrong. Um, you know, I'm using Arch Linux in Parabola um, and I never really run into problems that are even at the scale that I used to have on Windows or Mac computers. Um, so anyway, that, that's just what I wanted to put out. Like, I think that the most important takeaway is just, like, get out of the mindset where you search for bug reports. Like, get in the mindset of trying to understand how the programs you use actually work. And honestly, you should also be a little suspicious of programs that you that are too big for you to understand. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, you have to look at the source code yourself, but I'm saying... Um, if there's a program that's so enormous uh, that you don't necessarily understand the logic to it, a lot of times it's better to use something a little simpler. Um, so that's all I have to say. That's just general advice just because I, the best thing that I can do, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I love putting out videos and um, you know getting attention or whatever, um, but I think the best takeaway you could, I mean, you know, teach a man to fish and he can feed himself for a lifetime. That's what I'm uh, trying to say. So anyway, that, that's all I have to say today, so uh, I'll see you guys next time.